What's going on, folks? It's Andrew from MAO Magic, and today I have the in charge cable. Uh, it comes in two different versions a lightning version and a micro USB version. They are basically just really tiny portable cables that you can throw on a keychain or just keep them around. They market them as colorful, affordable, and tangle free. So if we go ahead and open up this first one here, we have a micro USB version coming in blue, even though there is a wide range of colors that they do offer, like orange, green, blue, pink, purple, black, gray, and white. So once we go ahead and open this up, you'll notice it does come with a key ring. So you have one right there for you, so you don't have to already have a key ring to attach it to. So it has just a standard key ring, and then the cable itself. Basically just folds over, and there's a piece of, um, there's a magnet that holds the two ends together. It's pretty much as simple as that. On one side of the cable, they have the InCharge logo printed on the side. On the reverse side of that where the USB cable is, is a standard USB logo. And it will just simply slide apart. Kind of easiest way is just to kind of push them against each other. And it just opens up like that. And you can remove it from your keychain or wherever you have this connected. Now, while I have not had any problems with this coming off uh, when I don't want it to, I do kind of worry about that because it does not seem, it seems strong enough to hold on to there, but I would worry it would kind of get pushed around or something in a pocket and may come loose. Again, this has not happened to me, but it has been on my mind. Now, this is a standard USB uh, as far as like the actual computer or charger side is concerned, but it does look a little bit different. It's very flat, and they have other ones out there um, from other companies that use this like really slim USB cable, but it is just a standard USB cable that just gets rid of like the housing, that metal housing that goes around the outside. As far as the cable itself, it's just a very thin, flat cable in the middle. Uh, it is very short, so this is not ideal if you want to kind of hang something off the wall. Like if you're going to plug in to an outlet and plug in your phone, it may not have enough room to charge that, but it would work for maybe charging on a computer where you don't need as much slack. Now, the plus side of it being this short as well as flat is you don't ever have to worry about it getting tangled. So with and many other cords that you may have around, you have to always worry about them getting tangled. As I mentioned, this does come in a lightning version as well as that micro USB version that we just looked at. We also have a different color here for this model, and it does say it works. It's made for iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. The only problem is this is not MFI certified, so it isn't like going through Apple's uh, like licensing program to actually be certified by Apple, but it doesn't look, I have not had any issues charging with it. It has charged just fine for me. Now, I have really liked these as I've been testing them out. These are probably one of my favorite portable uh, iPhone Lightning micro USB cables that I've tried, similar to like the Nomad Key one, except this is a little bit more compact, and I think it's a little bit better because it's a lot easier to get off of your keychain. Now, I would recommend these are most likely going to be just used for like syncing and charging. I would not use these like the micro USB for like a hard drive trying to transfer large amounts of data. It's probably not going to be as quite as fast as a standard one of those larger micro USBs that may come with it. If we look at the pros and cons, they are super small. It is very easy to remove from your keychain or wherever you have this uh, tagging along. There are tons of different colors for everyone's personality, and they are super portable. However, as always, there are cons. First of all, it is not MFI certified that made for iPhone, iPad certification that Apple does, so it may not be up to the standards of Apple. It is wide. It is a very wide cable, which may take up a lot of room on your keychain and may want its own separate loop. And it is very short, so it will not work if you want to plug into a wall or somewhere where you need a little bit more slack. However, obviously, that shortness is what provides more portability. These run about $12 a piece, and the link is in the description below. If you have any questions, throw them up in the comments, as always. Make sure you guys subscribe, and otherwise, I will see you guys all next time.